guys you are welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you very much for late stopping by please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not thank you very much once again may god almighty bless you all my people it's really very sad that we have found ourselves in this situation nigeria has become a killing field why our leaders watch and do nothing about this these people continue to kill and get away with it. But they are saying they are fighting corruption. But they are the worst corrupt government so far in the history of this uh, uh, country. Nigeria is in a pitiable situation. No fewer than 50 persons were killed on Friday afternoon when bandits attacked three villages in Deba. Kura, local government area of Zamfara State. A former councillor told Premier Times that the gunmen attacked Sabon Gari, Damiri, Damiri and Kalahi villages around 2.30 p.m. on Friday. He was quoted as saying, I was in the main town when the bandits entered Sabon Gari, Damiri. We suddenly saw people running towards us. Then we started hearing sporadic gunshots that was miraculously saved. According to him, the bandits carried out coordinated attacks on the villages before a joint security team confronted them. Another resident told the newspaper that the number of casualties would have been more if the security agents, agents did not confront the bandits. I have to personally applaud them the security agent though i believe they should have come earlier because if they came at the right time they would have saved a lot of people but the arrival helped because the number would have been more than that he said damiri also said the intervention of the military forced the bandits to flee leaving behind the livestock food items and other things they had looted from the residents. Why, Damiri said, the bandit killed 48 people. Multiple sources confirmed that the casualty was 56. We counted 56 persons. The counselor said, in Damiri, only three people were killed, a girl and two other men. But the remaining were all killed in Sabon, Gary, Damiri and Kahele. Some of them were not residents of the two communities. They were people who came from nearby villages to celebrate with their relatives, he said. Another resident of Bakura Tan, Husman, also said 56 people were confirmed dead by residents of three communities. He said those who were wounded were receiving treatment at the General Hospital Bakura. A police officer who spoke on the condition of anonymity told the newspaper that they were aware of the situation. We are aware, but you can we can wait for an official statement. I know that a strong reinforcement has been sent to Bakura and Talata Mafara houses this morning. The CP may even visit the communities later, he said. <laughs> oh my god. When the deed has already been done, that is when you people will take action. Many of these ones killed sworn that Baba is the Messiah and we protect the nuts. They will repent and be recruited. A work on development at least. The zone soldiers and DSS are after the innocent agitators in Biafra land. How he the bandit. <laughs> this Yoruba supporting one Nigeria. This is the plan they have for you too. Just continue fooling yourselves. With one Nigeria, your eyes will soon open. Buari that knows what that is going on. Trust Buari at your own risk. The chief terrorist, the land grabbers. Okay, these are reactions by Nigerians. Check any other nationalities associated with those people. That country will never know peace. It is their nature. It is just in their blood. Yoruba nation, let us go out of this country. This is what they all call terrorism, exactly like Operation Python Dance. 
Hmm. ABA massacre on nature massacre. Okay, that is an umbrella massacre. Emina massacre. Honestly, the God of Namdekanu is alive. The more you hate him, which is stopping the truth, the more you collect. I love this holy ministration. The news of yesterday and today, they give me joy. Hmm. May Tuji and his evangelist, evangelist minister properly to their children, depending on the amount of love they have for them. Okay, this is uh, this is reactions from Nigerians. The truth is that these are innocent people that is being killed by these bandits. You understand? The poor man out there is just at the receiving end of all this wahala. I don't think it's right where anyone should be rejoicing over this. You understand? They are innocent, poor people, looking for what they will use to feed their families. The government should be blamed for this. The government who knows the sponsors of Boko Haram and bandits in the country, but keep on shading and protect, protect, protecting them, we don't know why. We don't know why Buhari governments have refused to go after bandits in the right way. How can you be cutting trees? They, you said you want to cut a tree and you are cutting the branches and leaving the roots. How can you survive? How can you succeed? You see, the way the Nigerian government is going about the fight of bandits and Boko Haram in this country, it can never yield any good result because they are the one who is holding us back. They know what to do, but they will not do it. Their reason is best known to them. But the only thing I will say here is, anybody who is dragging Nigerian backward, anybody who is causing Nigerians tears and sorrow, God Almighty must surely give them double. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts. Please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much. God bless you. Bye.